people. All right. Welcome to an episode of Best TV Dads of All Time. I'm your host, Mike. This is Luigi, and I don't talk like this. But we're dad bloggers, so clearly we're an expert on dad stuff. So let's get started with this list. All right, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. One of the best TV dads out there led by example. At the end of the day, whatever the scoreboard said, you knew you could look yourself in the mirror and be proud. Hear me out on this guy. <laughs> All right, in real life, he is a scumbag. But as a TV dad, five kids, he was a doctor. Check out the sweater game he had going on. He was a pretty fantastic TV dad. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on a playground. Okay, the song's not long enough to get to the point where he brings in his nephew and raises him as his own, albeit with a silver spoon in his mouth. Yo, Holmes, check you later. <laughs> Phil Dunphy is my personal spirit animal dad. Trampoline jumping, magic performing, pun slinging dad. I love this guy, and he's a little bit uh, disastrous, but I think he's charming. Forget about it. Tony took a step down from professional baseball to do what had to be done to give Samantha a, a leg up in life. He also taught us how to politely decline a cougar. Calm down, Mona. Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. As I reached for the last one, so did another man. And as I rained down blows upon him, I knew there had to be another way. Frank Costanza invented the Festivus for the rest of us. All right, I had three to choose from here. Danny, Uncle Jesse, Joey. I chose the foul mouth comic turned dorky dad because he taught us that it takes a village to raise children. Or a full house. Jason Seaver is arguably one of the most perfect TV dads of all time. He was funny but not goofy, still an authoritarian, but very loving and caring, and he always had a knack for bringing that lesson, that TV lesson back at the end of the episode. All right, this man deserves an award. He was a police officer with guns in the house who repeatedly did not shoot Urkel, who was trying to bone his daughter. <laughs> did I mention I have two daughters? Hear me out on this guy. So when he found out that he had terminal cancer, he was so concerned about his son and his unborn child that he did what any dad would do, and that's start making and selling meth. All right, this liberal hippie father raised a Donald Trump wannabe, albeit with morals, a, you know, a compass, and without a Twitter account. So I'm, I'm all for an Alex P. Keaton Skippy 2020 ticket. All right. Here's a story about a man named Brady. You know the rest, three, three sons, three daughters, youngest one in curls. This guy was actually awarded Father of the Year in an episode. I forgot about that. He's a good dad. All right, forget about helicopter parenting, attachment parenting, free-range organic parenting. This is SEAL Team 6 parenting right here. You do anything to mess with his daughter, your body, your existence, wiped off the face of the planet. Dave Seville is so underrated as a dad. This guy adopted three chipmunk, human, hybrid mutants, and he did what any good dad would do, and that's exploit their talents for money and fame. Oh, 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 oh. More power. Or wait, was it more cocaine? Another thin line between TV dad and the, and the actor that plays him. But great father on the TV show. Red Foreman's the dad that we, we need to be every now and then, honest. I remember one quote he, when asked if his uh, son's friends could stay over for dinner. He says, I can't afford to feed your friends. I can barely afford to feed you, but the law requires I do. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. If you've watched this show, not the best example, but you're all here tonight at The Saint because you make better decisions. You're not serving time with OJ out in Lovelock, though I think some of you are about to be drunk in public. Let's end the night with our boy Homer here. 90% of the time, this guy's a complete disaster. But 10% of the time when he's sober, he's pretty redeemable. This guy even took a Quickie Mart job to buy a pony for his daughter. A freaking pony, people. All right, no father is perfect. 
I know that we forgot some of yours. We had a list of 50 we had to whittle down to 18. So if we forgot one, buy us a beer, talk about it here. Find us at, on social media at Reno Dads. We'd love to continue the conversation. Woo! Yeah. Yeah.